Oh, okay, I'm live. All right. This is again GoGo TVC, your favorite organizer, except for Sloa because he's a god. And t and uh, right now we're gonna do a, a speed run of Fireboy and Water Girl Two in the Light Temple. And I guess I'll start now and comment as I go. But you'll see that it's gonna be. It may be difficult, just a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna do the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, hopefully Jack doesn't mess up the timer, Kibo. But yeah. Fireboy and Water Girl is a Flash game series that is a platformer where Two people are supposed to do a co do a co-op thing to just get through the levels, but I'm forever alone, so I chose to run this game by myself, and it's surprisingly a fun game. Okay, I'll move the the cube a little bit there. Not too bad. But yeah, something that you'll see me do like from the very beginning is that I will tend to jump uphill and l let me slide downhill. And what that does is that it gives, when you go uphill you, get, you lose speed and when you go downhill you gain speed. And that will be useful in a couple of places to do some skips. Just from crossing over l large gaps. All right, good. So you could you can see in the world in the map that the th the levels are like free to go in any order. So normally I I choose to go for the hardest levels first, but I guess since this is a marathon run, I'm just gonna go completely at random and go bottom to top, so that we can at least get some of the fun levels at the end because typically the hardest levels are probably the the most impressive ones yeah i will say though that for the 100 percent category the only thing that is required is to beat all the gems because in order to get the a rank on us on a level you need to go to get all the gems, but also feel a time requirement. And if you're too slow, well, you just get the B rank as if you didn't get all the gems. So I'll try to get good at get an all A rank. But it, know that if I mess up and I get somehow a B rank, hopefully it's because I'm slow and not because I missed a jump, because otherwise I'd have to redo the level. And the reason why we chose that is if is if uh, someone were to run the game, it wouldn't be too painful to start because there are a lot of levels in, in this game where meeting the time requirement is just something that you just that is a really hard to do, and it may even happen on this run. Who knows? And something that you see is that. For some levels, like, I can just go freely, like, with the two characters, like, doing completely different stuff, but when it becomes a little harder, it's probably easier, it's just easier to just do the same thing, to just position them at the same place and just do the input twice. Like, in this level, it's just like a given that I have to do the same thing, just in reverse. So here in this level, you're supposed to to push two balls at the top, but instead we're only gonna push one because we can, and it saves time. So yeah. 
then when when we get to one character just moving it becomes a lot of, it becomes easy to like all these races levels are basically the same t it's basically doing the same inputs twice or I thought that I had missed a jump there but no it was just me me being blind because what I tend to do in these kind of levels is that I just stare at one character and I hope that the same the other character just doesn't die and gets all the gems but it does not always happen when I get over overconfident. By the way, you guys probably heard it, like the proverb that nobody can do th two things at the same time. Well, that's true. I'm not doing two things at the same time. So I'm doing four things at the same time. I'm controlling both character, reading the chat, and doing the commentary at the same time. Right. Here's a scary gem right there. Oh. Yeah, something that I will say is that for this game especially, it's really hard to like regain muscle memory after a mistake. Since I'm just looking at one character all the time, like I cannot do like split my eyes to look into both of them at once. That's just not something that I can do. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So here for this level, you're meant to push that ball like to the right side, but instead we're going to do something different that saves like three seconds. So what we're gonna do is get that cube stuck in the door to get it in place so that it remains open. And it saves like three seconds over waiting that the, the ball rolls all the way to the bottom. But yeah. Something that I will say though is that for some levels, like I chose to, it's like go for like consistency routes where I basically like have a, a, t a specific timing like they're doing the three jumps with both characters at once as opposed to going fast simply because there's just too much risk that that I will mess up. Right. There's this one place for me to die in this level, and I really hope that I don't fall in there by accident. There we go, with the right blue switch. No, there's, there are no exploits. I mean there are going to there are going to be exploits later. Like I found some if you guys are in the discord you probably know what I'm talking about when I say that there's an exploit because before that it was essentially like slope abuse and that's it. But I found something to completely break a level while practicing for this marathon and I'm going to do it at the end just for the fun. All right, so far we're, we're having all E rings, but we're not in the levels with ridiculous time requirements. There's one sp in particular that's going to be coming up soon. That's insanely hard to get.
Alright, there we go. If you're too slow, you just get trapped and there and you're forced to redo the level, but luckily it did not happen. It's this one. Like, you need to do it in 20 sec 22 seconds or under, and it's basically like a jump and pray that you get all the gems on this on the, on the way. Something that I will say is that all the all the fire that Water Girl actually had it a short a longer path to travel there, so I prioritized it and I did get the A rank, so that's really nice. That's like the level that is really hard to get the A rank on. Yeah, there there are no S rank in this game, sadly. There's the A rank, which is like all the gems and all the and the time requirement. There's the B rank, which is either getting all the which is either getting the the gems or get failing the time requirement. The C rank is if you fail both of them, and there's a special rank that is the F rank. Is that for all the for all the the levels that have a green gem? If you fail, oh, that level is fun, by the way. I'll I'll try that again. That level is completely busted with slope abuse. Whee! All right, there we go. <laughs> I thought for a second that I had stepped into lava. All right, there we go. <laughs> we made it through. That's the best thing. <laughs> but yeah, these levels with black, with like the flashlight stuff, once you know where everything is, it's really easy. They're meant to be exploration levels. And they don't, for the most part, actually, I don't think either of them have gems in them. So that's, that's kind of funny. This level also is fun. All right, I'm going to do it again. So the route that I'm going to be using is not at all what you're supposed to do. But it saves like 10 seconds. And it actually saves a lot more time in a, any person where we just completely skip the level pretty much. Right. <gasps> okay. That's my first death. Okay. Well, all right. We're still on a good run. And so it's my first dead. Like there's one puddle of lava, and I managed to step in it. To step in it. That's what happens is when you only stare at one character, and then you just assume that one character just do it right. Come on, stop doing that. Do it. All right. But yeah, if you do frame perfect jumps, they can, like it will not take your weight into consideration. So the the thing can just go continue going up. All right, there we go. There's one hard part is, and it's to jump over the puddle a second time. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, another maze. This one, I guess they got lazy because they, both characters have to use the same pad, except the doors are in different in different parts of the level. All 
Alright, getting this gem because we can and it, it's probably not intended yet that you're supposed to get it from down there. But it saves time to do it, so we're doing it anyway. Alright. Ten dollars for each dead. Uh, I wish I could, but sadly, I'm a student and I, I'm trying to save money, even though I don't live in the U.S. Here's a f another fun level. I guess you're intended to like, for. To like press the lever with the other with the other character if you need more time, but pre it's the timer is lenient lenient enough that it you pr will pretty much always make it if you don't mess up. All right, another easy level. I said easy level. There we go. Sometimes using walls, like what I just did, is useful to recalibrate, like, if they're desync to... Oh no, B-Rank, run over her! <laughs> like, the go... I think I was like one second too slow to get the A-Rank, feels bad. If you want, I can. Whoop! Oh, I got the controls. The controls reversed there. Right. If it's the only dead level, I may redo it after the run. Yeah. Just for the funs. I guess I'm gonna have to re-get that gem. Oof, I thought that I was too early with pushing that block there. Go. Come on. And then we can j get a, a, a little jump off of that cube while we're, we're falling. So, right here is, is like the definition of like a lazy route, just for consistency. There probably could be something better than what I'm doing right now. But it's just really hard to, it would just be really hard to do. Yes, I can replay the level. But the thing is that an A rank is, is not part of the 100% definition if it's a time requirement that you fail. Because the definition of a hundred percent is just collecting all gems. But yeah, I could, I will do that. For the people. And because the level is really short, it's only 20 seconds. Right. There we go. This level is just really easy to die or miss a gem. Like these two, these four gems at the beginning, they're just really hard to get if you're trying to go for bo with both characters at once. After that, the level is not too hard, even though it does look like it's scary from time to time. Right? Here is just a matter of activating all the switches.
and when we're gonna do is leave a blue switch for when we're collecting all the gems at the bottom. And there we go. Sub 30 is good for this level. Alright. For this level in particular, it has a tendency to eat inputs because I will say that that's something that I probably didn't say at any time in the run, but when you're going down slopes, sometimes you're just not considered on the ground and so you cannot jump. But it went fine there. This level is like mainly slopes. Guess this is far enough to the right for the cube. Good enough, and oh, that's not good enough then. Uh, I guess I'll fix that. I'll fix this like that. Oh wow, barely missing. That totally should count, but I guess it doesn't. All right, another easy, like, you do the same level inputs twice. Here's a fun level. So what, in the top portion of it, like as soon as I'm cl done climbing up there, we'll be using two different paths to get there. Like the fir the first one I use as far by because I can uh, I can get the platform higher. But for the second one, I'm supposed to go at the bottom since I I cannot do it. I cannot go up. <laughs> okay. Say it again. It's all the, it's all about the clutch saves. Uh, get in there. All right. Here we're gonna skip like pulling the lever twice by ramming against the block so that it can fall down there. If you try to do it normally, it just gets stuck there, like tilting a little bit backwards. But if you have enough push, you can do it. Uh, maybe too far to the right. I use the cracks on the wall to know when to stop. Right. Uh, yeah, that's too far to the right. Feels bad. Now we're gonna trap Water Girl in there because it's faster since I can get the gem already and finish up with the the level. All right. This level is kind of fun because you just do the at the, at the beginning you just like do, do one level one character at once and then once you're done with this section you just like move two characters at once and it's gonna be both characters at once and it's pretty it feels pretty good to do when you do it fast. Ah, oh, it's possible to like get a bonk on the ceiling and like mix make so that you just 
barely land on the slope that I missed as far as fireboy, sorry. But it was I was I jumped just a tiny bit too early. Alright. Last level of the game. I'm gonna say get ready on time by the way. So here's the shred that I found yes sir. I, I believe it was yesterday. Somehow you can push the bu the button from there. And I was not even trying to do that at once. And I, I was just messing it around. And time. <laughs> All right. That was a good, that was a decent run with like two deaths. Not too bad. Uh, All right, as I promised, I will fit, do this level. Like with the A rank, since I can, because I can, and it only loses like it pro. It only takes like twenty seconds, and it's funny because it's like one of the easiest levels in the game. But yeah, there you go, A rank on all of them. So yeah, that's good. That was Firebun Water Girl. There, there are no like community from the, for that. I probably was the, I'm the only serious runner of this game. But if you guys want to do it, if you guys want to r run one of the categories of the franchise, you you guys can just watch my PB and learn from that, or you can PM me and I'll teach you some stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for the marathon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. If you haven't wa already, wink, wink. But yeah, that's it. that's it for me today. And I'll pass it on to, on to the next run. See you.